Hello everyone, this is Cordos, and in this video, I'm going to teach you guys on how to make custom notes in CDF Engine. You know how like mods have a uh, custom notes like damage notes and bullets notes and more of that stuff. Yes, I'm, and we're gonna be trying to make them in CDF Engine. So the first thing you actually need is basically just the CDF Engine itself. This, yeah, this is basically the tutorial for it. So what do you expect? The second thing you need a you need a text editor. In this tutorial, I prefer to use uh, if you full studio code for this. And yep, you can use anything else. It's it's based on what you prefer. And before we start, I'm going to say sorry if you guys can't understand what I'm saying because I'm not a native English speaker and my vocabulary is still bad so yeah sorry about that and so let's get started so the first thing you need to have is that you make, make sure you have a mod first because we're, we're gonna be doing this in a mod if you already have a mod then just go right through it and if you don't have a mod then you should make one and you're going to go through a note section right here in this folder, you're you're gonna be seeing like custom note types go here, goes here, and I think this is just for the Funkin mod. Yep. If you're on a Funkin mod folder like me, you're gonna be seeing this file right here is a booat.hx. Just remove that. This is basically just a testing I would use I use for CDF engine, and yeah, it doesn't matter. So let's create a new file here. Create a new file and just a text document and name it uh anything and in this in this tutorial we're going to be creating a bullet note and make sure the extension is dot hx which is basically just hack so yep just make it like that and you can just open this file on visual studio code And now we're on the file now. Um, to start, let's create a new function here. Function create. Ah, uh, create. This function is gonna be called when the node is like being spawned on the on the gameplay state or display state. So in here, simply write load texture. And in this in this function, we're gonna be loading a texture, a texture. Ah, however you say it. Uh, I forgot to change my keyboard layout. Oops. And in this function, you can load your uh, your custom node textures or, or just sprites. And in this tutorial, we already have one in here since we're going to make a bullet node. Just make sure you place your node is under uh, images and any folder. In this, in this, uh, in this case, we're gonna be using notes folder because yes, it's already there. And look, we already got it here. Let's zoom it out. Uh, zoom it in. Yep, bullet node.png. Now all you need to do is basically just copy the name of this file and just paste it here. Double quotes and Make sure you in also include the folder in this, so it will be loaded into that directory. Let note, yep, that's all. After we finish making this uh, load texture in here, like uh, loading the texture, let's initialize the node. Which is basically telling the node like, hey, uh, get ready, you're gonna be used in the game, so into the node. In its CLIs. and that's all. Now save the file and let's open the CDF engine to see if it's working or not. So uh, you have to load your mod first, and, uh, so it works. Whoa! I'm loading the game test song, so yep, because there's no so there's no other song in that mode. So yeah, we're gonna be using this. Once you're in a gameplay state, make sure you go into the uh, charting, charting screen, char or chart editor, 
and go to the node section right here and you'll see there's a node types right here press that drop down button right here and then you'll gonna you'll notice your node is actually here bullet node press on that and just create a random random placement of the nodes here to see if it's if it works or not yep just like that uh, it's gonna be taking a while for it to load because I think it lags at, as hell. Yeah, and here we are. Oops. And yep, you can see that the notes is loaded, so uh, that's that's good, I think. Now, let's create a little bit of fence one. What if the if the player miss the note, we're gonna be killing him, like killing the BF. But if it's got hit, then let's just do nothing, or just play a sound. Yeah, uh, you know the the gun sound from the Hank mod. Yeah, we're gonna be using that. So in your mod, make sure you have like a a shooting uh, um, or maybe gun sound in here. And I think I already have one. Uh, it's still loading. What the hell is going on? Working on it. Okay, so here we are. I already got the file here. It's basically just called hangshoot.ogg. Just copy that, just copy that. And that will be alright. Go back to the code. And let's, let's create a new function here. Uh, function on a note hit there are two variables here that we can use which is basically just a uh, reading and then player this is basically what will the engine will tell into the note hey you got this reading and you're being hit by this player this reading is basically just like sick good bad and more kind of uh, more of that kind of stuff and player is basically just the player to check if it's hidden by by the player or not so let's create a let's make it playing a sound when we hit it so just use flxg sound play and we're gonna load in the sound using paths class paths and sound just paste your uh your audio there hang shoot and i want the sound the sound to be not like really loud let just set it into one zero point six which is basically just sixty percent of the sound so yeah the volume is not gonna be like way too loud so when it's shoot i want it to be like uh shake the screen so just like uh fx fxz Camera antenna shape. Ah. Yeah, you might you might want to check out the FXG documentation so you can just mess these things by yourself because FXG is basically just a Haxel library. Uh, I mean, Flexel library. What did I say that? I don't know. Just make sure we set it into 0 0.1. This is. I think this is the intensity. And 0 0.1 as well in here, which is basically the duration. I think that should do it. Uh, yeah. Now, what if the player missed note? We'll kill him. Simply like that. So just function. On note miss. Um. Oh yeah. Play state just just call play state which is basically the players uh play state, play state is basically the room where the player is right now this is the the gameplay you know that stuff yep that's the play state just place that and hell make it like just go minus that will be good and i think we're done with it just save the file and reload your song and let's check it out
Uh, why is it gonna be taking a long time to load? Cutscene. I forgot to disable bot play. Haha. <laughs> Let's just disable bot play right here. And restart the song again. This is gonna be take a while. Oh no. And here we are. See. Now when we when we miss the node, it will just kill the player, which is perfect. Oh yeah, that was a custom state and I will explain that later. Not in this video. That was like a bit advanced. Now let's just hit all the nodes. Ah One more time I think. Ah Ouch, that was not good. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!